Hey everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. I'm so excited to be back doing a DIY for you guys today. But first, if you're new to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell before you leave so you don't miss out on anything new. Today, my DIY is going to be an advent calendar for Christmas and I'm making this out of some burlap fabric that I received from burlapfabric.com. And if you guys are looking for some nice, affordable burlap that is nice quality, then I definitely recommend that you check their website out. They have all sorts of different types of burlap. They have different colors, burlap by the yard, burlap ribbon, and then they have different products made with burlap. So I will link their website down below in the description box so you can check them out. Now let's get started on this advent calendar. Alright guys, so the first thing I needed to do was cut out my fabric and I just measured my fabric 24 by 26 inches and I just used a piece of chalk to mark those lines and then I just cut the fabric out. Then on the sides that measured 26 inches, I folded those down and used my hot glue gun to um, make a hem uh, just so that way um, the edges wouldn't be frayed and they would have nice clean edges. Um, so then after I did that, my fabric ended up measuring 21 inches by 26 inches. All right, so now what I'm doing is taking four of these small dowel rods from Dollar Tree and I'm hot gluing them together to make one long dowel rod that measures about 24 inches long and you don't have to do this, you could just buy a long dowel rod, um, but this is what I had on hand so I am using it and um, I'm just going to hot glue it down onto the top of the burlap there, um, that cut edge where I cut that piece off. and. Um, then I'm just going to fold it over and hot glue that down and about an inch of the dowel rod sticks out on each side. And then the bottom of the fabric is already cut with this little fringe um, that comes out which I think looks really nice and it doesn't like pull apart easily so it's already what how they sent it to me so I'm just gonna leave it like that um, but if you didn't have this you could put a dowel rod at the bottom too. So now I am going to use these stencils from Dollar Tree to spell out Merry Christmas at the top. And yes, I am aware that that is an S there and not an R. I just used it as a placeholder um, to kind of measure out my letters to make sure that they were even when I um, was putting them out. And now what I'm doing is taking my Sharpie paint pen in red and um, just tracing the letters and coloring them in. In. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the stencils for the word Christmas. I'm just going to lay them all out first, making sure um, that I can fit all the letters on here and they just fit. Again, using that E as a placeholder since I only have one S. And then just taking my Sharpie paint pen and uh, outlining the letters and then filling them in. Next I'm going to cut my pockets out, um, so I'm going to use my burlap and I'm just going to mark uh, 3 inches high and 21 inches long and I'm going to cut 4 strips out and then I am just going to mark 3 inches um, down the strip so that way I will end up with 25 3 inch by 3 inch squares for my pockets. Now I am using these Dollar Tree stencils to stencil the numbers 1 through 25 onto each one of these burlap squares. And I'm just using my black Sharpie paint pen to do this. And I'm trying to keep the numbers um, towards the bottom right hand corner as close as I can. Thank you. 
Now I'm just going to lay my burlap squares out to make sure that they're evenly spaced. I ended up having three rows of seven and then the last row had the last four squares. Next, all I did was hot glue the squares down to the burlap piece, and I just hot glued each side of the squares and the bottom of the squares, leaving the top open so that way I would have a pocket, and I just did this to all 25 squares. Next, I thought it looked a little plain, so I found these stencils just in my stash, and I used this little star snowflake one and stenciled some on the top and then onto the bottom where that space is after the 25. Then I also decided to take some of this red twine from Dollar Tree and tie three bows and I just cut those off and hot glued them down to the first day of December and then I also did one for the 12th day of December because you're halfway there till Christmas and then I did one on the 25th of December because that's Christmas. I also used the same red twine to make a hanger and I just tied a piece to one end of the dowel rod and then the other side to the other piece of dowel rod. And then I hung this in my entryway so that way we would see it every day and not forget to get the piece of candy. And I filled it just with some candy canes and these little chocolate Santas and then I found these little pieces of chocolate coal um, from Five Below and I thought my son would find that hilarious to put the coal inside of there and that's what he gets for the day. So I think it turned out really cute. We get an advent calendar every year from the store just the um, cardboard ones with the chocolate in it and I think this was really fun to make this one on my own and we can keep it for years to come and just fill it with different types of candy as my son gets older or even just different little trinkets as well so I hope you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out burlapfabric.com and I will see you guys next time take care bye bye